continue to shake my head at Carlos King and OWN Network. Carlos and OWN Network. The more the sky, she was polite, she was polished and professional. I've posted the link in the description of this video, so please go there to watch the full video. The more he spoke, Mark shared explosive details of the plan behind the scenes that has been in place for quite some time to ambush both Melody and her mother. Unfortunately, it's extremely sad. This was somewhat of a shocker to me because he revealed that Kimmy and Maurice in his interview, he revealed that Kimmy and Maurice, or he revealed and implicated them as ringleaders and his closest advisors. For those of you who are just tuning in, or if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Queen Sheba. I cover a variety of hot topics specific to reality television, but most importantly, I hone in on the behavioral and the psychological traits of the Black experience. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. So there's been a change in plans. I wanted to show you the video, but the audio is so horrible with me trying to capture it. It would have really, <laughs> it would have been a disservice to you. So you've got to go back. I put the, uh, the link in a description box. So I'm just going to let the video play in the background, but I can't share the audio just because it just, it doesn't come across clearly. Um, but in this scene, he's saying that he was bound by the freedom of speech or Miss Vanessa, there's loopholes or something like that with the freedom of speech. And he slipped up, go and look at it on her page. He mentioned Maurice because Maurice said, and then in that moment, wow, wow, wow. When you go back and look at it, he couldn't even recover from slipping up and sharing what Maurice shared with him because he knew he messed up. You know you messed up, right? And that reminded me of that scene. He knew he messed up, y'all, and he starts stuttering. He was like, uh, uh, uh. Now, here's the thing. The Scots cannot accuse him of lying because if he's lying about y'all and this huge scheme, he implicated the production. He said he didn't have to talk to Carlos King because Carlos King was involved. That's what he insinuated. He also insinuated that his brothers and Kimmy and Martel have been pushing and advocating, fighting hard for him from day one to be on the show. Came from his mouth. Now, if he's lying about y'all, then he's lying about Miss Van because you can't have it both ways, baby. No, 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 no. We're going to back it up. Because if he's lying about y'all, then he's lying about Miss Van. Now, y'all want him. Y'all want us to believe, oh, he's telling the truth about Miss Van. And Marceau went as far as to taunt somebody's mother on social media and put Coke bottles. So that means you're just as crooked. You're just as dark, manipulative, sly, do anything for money to win, to be on top. Yes, your brother said it. And not in the words that I'm using. But baby, he laid it all out there. And I wasn't tuned in to hear what he said about Miss Van. I was tuned in to hear what he had to say about y'all. And that's the crazy part. When you give a madman a microphone, you can't control him. He aired y'all out. And Kimmy, he mentioned your name several times. You coaching him, you texting him, you connecting with him, giving him consultation, guidance, extremely disappointing. And I don't want to hear nobody come out and say, he's lying. He can't be uh, trusted. He has no credibility. Then we're going to sweep that across the board. Okay. So child, that was just a snippet. On another note, he and Marceau are very similar. They speak the same. They have the same facial expressions and they employ the same tricks and to their talking points, they get very agitated, very loud, very demonstrative with their facial expressions. Basically, what I'm saying is they say a lot, but at the same time, they say nothing at all. So much alike. So in the interview, the interviewer was trying to reason with him. 
She gave him a hypothetical situation. She said, you know what? Let's just say if what you said is true, which I don't believe is true, right? Because let me, let me tell you something about good people. We all know Melody's a good person, right? Based on what we've seen. She's helped Destiny. She helped Martell. She's invited Martell and his mother, you know, to, on vacation, even when they were not at their best. She's helped the sky. So we're not going to play with that. We know her mother's a good person. Hell, some of you are good people. You've helped people. I've helped people. I've helped, I've helped men and women. That don't mean I like you. Okay? But you can't help everybody. Some people think because you're being kind, you're flirtatious and you want them. Or you have an ulterior motive. That's why you can't help everybody. And that's why it's important to have a spirit of discernment of where we take our pearls. Because we can't give pearls to pigs because they trample all over them. And I think that's something that Melody and both her mom have have learned. (laughs) And moving forward, I am sure they're going to be extremely careful who they help and how they assist. Because it's people like that that cause good people to say, you know what? Mm -mm. I'm not doing that no more. Shit, I got burnt doing that. You know, so the lady was trying to reason with him and say, if what you're saying is true, how come your brothers didn't advocate from you from their own accord? Child, that was a lost cause. That was a lost cause, but she did a really good job. I want you to go watch the video. It's actually a really good interview highlighting her skill set As a facilitator, as an interviewer, she did great. She was professional. She was poised. She was patient with him. Um, She let him talk. I would have clicked his ass off my line, my live stream, but but I I get it, you know, Um, but he was a handful. I am not a supporter of Mark Scott. He's a broken, traumatized and damaged man. And if you know anything about that, It's very dangerous because insecure dogs bite. So after she asked him that question, he had a reaction to it. He starts naming names. He goes, you remember when Martell said this? Martell was giving her an opportunity. You remember when Marcel said this? Y'all, this has been in the works for quite some time. These, I don't know what these men broken men have against a successful woman, that's a very dangerous territory. And I bet Melody is kicking herself in the butt that she even helped, reached down and helped. But probably not. She did what she was supposed to do. But own that work. Carlos King, Scott's, Mark revealed that y'all are behind this drama. Woo, he said a lot. He said a lot. He revealed every hand at play. He revealed when production would reach out to him and say, okay, now you want to come? He revealed when Kimmy said, okay, okay, we're getting it set up because we know how you're going to do it. Oh, yeah. He did all that. Everything was strategic. He revealed that Kimmy would approach Miss Van from behind the scenes. Y'all, all of this, this is a mess. If you go back and watch the full video, this man shared quite a bit regarding the strategy of the producers, Kimmy, his brothers, all of them to bring him on this show to basically ambush Melody and her mother. Very disappointing own network. I've always believed in my heart based on my assessment, based on some of the uh, feedback, some of the, uh, what do they call it? Like candy shared based on their own personal experiences of some celebrity black women, how Carlos King has wronged them. I believe that he's not above profiting off of the backs of black women, but damn, I was shocked that own network would give the green light to the production crew to go along with it. And I understand entertainment, but I don't, I don't understand assassination. And I'm so proud that Ms. Van, Drew a land in the sand, drew a land in the sand, and opted out of the reunion, out out of going to the reunion. I'm so glad. I mentioned it to Melody in my one-on-one interview with her. There's an imbalance with this cast from a financial perspective, and other dynamics. It's too many damn Scots on the show. Too many. If this is a reality show and not a family show, their own, it's too many. 
So that lets me know Mark may be right with the dynamics and the imbalance. Okay? Too much dark underbelly vibes that's coming from one pipeline. I'm sorry, Scots. Y'all are like drama. It's all coming from your end. And all of this is below the spiritual calling of Melody and Miss Van. They have a spiritual calling. They're well elevated above this. Hell, I'm starting to believe it may have become too much for Martell because he's been missing for quite some time. I think Martell is kicking himself in the butt. I think Martell now understands that he may have personally handed over his family to the pits of hell. This is the darkest and the most vile reality show I've ever seen. It's darker, way more volatile than love, than the, um, what is it, love and hip hop? It's unbelievable that own network would go that low and attack black women like that. Own network, you should be ashamed of yourselves. But then again, black people make good entertainment from a psychological perspective. They'll do anything for money, most of them. Imagine those boardroom talks. And the higher ups are probably sitting back and watching black folks scramble for scraps. Woo, chow. <laughs> it's amazing how low some folks will go for a paycheck, including you, Carlos King. You are the ringleader. But Melody is a Scorpio. And one thing I know about us, we see, we hear, and we feel everything. It's chess and not checkers. And I bet Melody has opened her eyes and may now realize that the devil does wear Prada. Right is right, wrong is wrong, and I will always stand for right on my platform. Because one thing my grandmother has always taught me is what goes up must come down. 